the peeps. I don't know what you can see, but it's raining out there. That's all I know. But today we're in the shed, and today we have the new addition. Oh, 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 oh. The GSX S1000 in red and black. Woo. Check. Yeah, okay. With 2,664 miles on. They polished it, but they put polish all over the bloody other bits in the seat and places. Anyway, so today's task is fit these goodies, hill plates, because they reckon wears out, tank pad, <coughs> exhaust, <coughs> grill, crash bungs, the link pipe, cheaper alarm, and that's it. That's all we've got to go on today. And I've got to try I'm going to try some levers, but they're probably not the right ones. All the basic one do is give a quick sound check, as you do. We're getting rid of this one, do a run without it on, and then run with a new one on. Maybe we've went out without baffles, who knows. So, we'll catch you on a soggy Saturday a bit later. Bye. And here's one without exhaust on. So here's the final result, with exhaust on and baffle in. I think it's time to take the baffle out. Thank you. That last attempt, baffle out. Right, for anyone that's going to fit one of these exhausts on here, the point of note is the L bracket here and you use a bolt supplied with a nylock on the top. Still moves. A little bit of thread just about through the bit. I haven't put any I haven't put any lock tight on it. And this part here, which supports this <clears throat> make sure you take this bit off of the original exhaust here yeah, and place it on there to stop it rattling and make sure it's the angle is pretty horizontal that way but just test that the guard fits on there and lines up with a hole down here when you do it I've put some uh, sealing compound on the inside of this because it's a bit floppy. This one's okay, it's got its own Suzuki bush on there. That tightens up no problem. So it's just a matter of getting it all in line where you're happy. Unfortunately, I would prefer this up high, but you can't because this dictates where it goes. In effect, you can't go too far on. It goes slacker down here. The diameter's different. And I had to do it quite tight to get it to nip up. That's why I put some some seal around it on the inside. So as you push it on, it goes up. I put it thicker at the back. Tried not to get it come out the splits here. That seems solid because before it was a bit waffity, a bit wiggly. So now what we've got to do is. Um, so everything's back in place, and the only thing I've done is taken this rubber grommet out, which was originally there, 
I tried to take it out a couple more washes, but it's still flopping, so I thought I'd take it out. Have a big hole. You can see the state of the heel plates. That's why I've got stickers to go on there. Look. Scratched. There you go, see nice and tight on that grommet inside. It's as it should be. I just put the clamps that way around so I can nip them up if need be because they normally work loose. So there you have it. That's how it goes. Smoking. <laughs> Well, I hope that's of some use to somebody. Whenever. And catch you later. Bye.